Hey guys, welcome back to my hair revamp series. In this video, I'm going to be trying the bentonite clay hair mask. And if you guys don't know what bentonite clay is, bentonite clay is basically a clay that is mined from the earth and it has a strong negative electromagnetic charge. And basically when it's activated with water or in this case, apple cider vinegar, um, it, has, it acts as a magnet that basically pulls out toxins. So that's a little just overview of basically what bentonite clay is so for this video I'm going to be putting it on my hair and hopefully it will revamp my hair I've heard that it has pretty good benefits so right now I'm just mixing it up it's pretty easy you just take a couple scoops of uh, the bentonite clay with some apple cider vinegar mix it up I also put a drop of water basically when I get to the consistency of I would say yogurt um, and that's basically um, gonna be the best to smooth it on your hair. At least that's what I did. All right, so I started off by, um, first of all, detangling my hair and um, putting it in four sections so that it would be easier to handle. And um, I just basically started applying the bentonite clay um, on my hair. Um, I wish I had thought this through because to be quite honest with you, I didn't know it was going to get this messy. And I think I knew it was going to be messy, but a little part of me forgot that it was going to be like this messy. So I would say, you know, just have some towels nearby, use gloves if you want, or even just have like one of those hair brushes where you can, um, dip and put it on your hair. I started off with a spoon, but the spoon wasn't working. So I decided to just use my hand. Um, so I'm just going through, I'm having a great time, as you can tell by the look on my face, um, applying this to my hair. Um, so I'm just gonna continue to put it in my hair and then I'll get back to you guys um, after I have washed it out. All right, so after keeping it in my hair for about 20 minutes or so, I washed it out. And I'm just coming back to show you guys what my hair looks like just fresh out the shower. And it actually felt surprisingly soft, which I was surprised by. Um, so now I'm just going in and I'm gonna deep condition it. I'm gonna be using um, the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration uh, Hair Mask. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna get back to you guys afterwards. So after I have deep conditioned for an additional 20 or so minutes, um, this is basically what my hair is looking like after that. It's been a long day, you guys. I've changed my outfit like three times. Um, but this is what my hair is looking like. And I was very happy. Like you can see the little smile that's kind of poking through on my face. I was very happy. It was really soft. I loved the way that it felt and I was really excited to style it. I, it it didn't feel dry it didn't feel like it was struggling it felt absolutely amazing so now I'm gonna pass you over to the very next day where I kind of talk you guys through um, the rest of how my wash and go process went all right Hey guys, so this is the next day. This is what my hair is looking like after I have done the bentonite clay and after I did a deep condition and I did a wash and go. This is what it's looking like the next day. And this right now, it's looking not bad. The curls have managed to stay, you know, formed a little bit into my hair and that is a beautiful thing. I felt like because it got really hard in my head, <laughs> I felt like it was going to be really hard to wash out, but once I got in the shower, put some water on it, it all just, you know, came right out of my hair and it felt surprisingly soft, 
which is kind of creepy considering I put apple cider vinegar in my hair and clay. Um, it felt surprisingly soft. I was expecting it to feel dry. It felt surprisingly soft. So I'm like, okay, cool. But a little part of me didn't really trust it. So I decided to go in and do a deep condition as well. And I just used the Shea Moisture deep condition. Um, and I left that on for about 20 minutes and I sat under, you know, a heat cap. Um, and then I washed it out and hair was feeling nice and moisturized. And then after that, I decided to try to do a wash and go. I was going to keep it safe and do a twist out, but I'm like, you know what? If this bentonite clay is really doing something, let's test it out and let's try to do a wash and go and see how that turns out. So I did a wash and go and this is what it looks like the very next day. And actually, I think it looks really, really, really nice. I'm very surprised by how it worked. True test is to see how long it will actually last. That's where I'm really testing because this is only the next day. I'm trying to let my wash and go last at least a week, at least four days, you know. Um, I did stretch my hair too. Last night I did band, did the banding method where I stretch it so it looked a little bit longer. So that's probably why it looks big. I also um, cut off a little bit of the, you know, the straggly ends because I have a lot of those and there's still some in the front, but. You know, I'm going to cut slowly. I'm not just going to cut off all my hair because I'm not a hairstylist. But I'll probably, you know, continue to do, um, you know, um, trims, you know, here and there and keep you guys updated. But so far, I started this hair revamp and I feel like my hair looks amazing right now. It can only get better from here and I'm very excited about where it's going to get. Um, one thing that I want my hair to start doing is I want it to clump more and I want it to um, just be naturally curly because I want it to be naturally curly I have an issue with frizz up here that I'm trying to work on um, so definitely I enjoyed doing the um, the bentonite clay mask and it definitely did something to my hair so if you feel like your hair is lacking something or if you just feel like the products are not doing what they should be doing to your hair so then maybe try doing a bentonite clay just to kind of restart your hair all over from scratch you know i feel like over time your hair probably gets confused as to what you're trying to do to it or i don't know i'm not a hair export export <laughs> i'm not a hair expert but i felt like that's what happened when i tried the bentonite clay i felt like my hair just got restarted and now it's trying to do something like it's not perfect or any of that stuff but i do appreciate the fact that i'm able to see curls you know still in my hair the very next day because i was having a problem with that so i think that helped a little bit with you know kind of just re restarting and restoring my hair um so it can only get better from here and i'm very excited about this journey if you guys enjoyed um this video then don't forget to su subscribe to my channel um, like this video and keep joining me on this journey of trying to revamp my hair and hopefully it'll inspire you to, you know, revamp your hair or, you know, try something new. Um, so I'll see you guys on my next revamp upload. Bye!